Good day and welcome to Mission Control Houston, where a team of flight controllers, some of them in festive garb, is following the activities aboard the International Space Station as the Expedition 34 crew uh, continues its work and gets ready for the arrival of three new crew members. Today, the crew is working on a variety of different research and maintenance tasks, uh, and also, of course, anticipating the arrival of Tom Marshburn, Chris Hadfield, and Roman Romanenko uh, for a little pre-holiday party. Ford had a training session today on how to catch the fish that are part of the JAXA Madaka experiment. Uh, this is an osteoclast experiment that uses the bones of these tiny fish to uh, determine how microgravity stays affect the human skeletal system. It's not always easy to catch the fish in the uh, new aquatic habitat that's in the uh, Kibo Laboratory. Uh, the bubbles that uh, develop in that habitat uh, tend to obscure the fish, and so uh, the training was uh, uh, well received by Kevin Ford today. He'll have an opportunity to talk with the uh, investigators for that experiment about uh, how that all went and any suggestions for improvement. Ford also today is removing or placing the uh, laboratory bacteria filter and the uh, desiccants uh, in the microgravity experiment research locker or incubator known as Merlin. Those help uh, hold down the uh, humidity levels in that locker. Old Nowitzki did some maintenance on the air heater fan and the Soyuz that's currently docked to the station. And for a second day, he did work with the lower body negative pressure experiment that uh, is used to uh, pull fluids that tend to collect in the uh, torso of the body down into the lower extremities. Uh, in microgravity, uh, your fluids uh, tend to pull up into your torso because there's no gravity pulling dip down into the feet uh, and leg area. And this lower body negative pressure experiment looks at whether uh, some forced change in the distribution of bodily fluids can help astronauts uh, uh, better respond to the return to one gravity on Earth when they come home after four to six months on orbit. Evgeny Trelkin is doing some routine maintenance on the electron system, that's the Russian oxygen generating system, as well as some emergency valves in the Russian segment of the space station. The crew is going to go to bed as usual about 3.30 p.m. Central Time today, but we'll have a 12-hour sleep period that will help them uh, shift their schedules to support a busy day of rendezvous and docking activities tomorrow as the to Soyuz TMA-07M spacecraft, which is currently uh, doing very well in orbit, uh, makes its final approach to the International Space Station, delivering NASA's Tom Marshburn, Canada's Chris Hadfield, and Russia's Roman Romanenko. Our docking coverage uh, for tomorrow will begin at 7.30 a.m. Central Time, and docking is uh, planned for 8.12 a.m. Central, and then uh, several hours later we'll have the uh, hatch opening and welcoming ceremonies uh, aboard the space station. A reminder that uh, during the holiday periods, uh, you can send a special greeting to the crew on board the space station. Uh, that's uh, available through the NASA internet at www.nasa.gov slash external splash slash postcard. And you can pick from one of four different holiday themes to send a note up to the crew.